The purpose of the Vandenberg Tracking Station is a remote tracking station um, within the Air Force Satellite Control Network. Um, it's a collection of remote tracking stations, giant dishes, that allow space operation centers, or SOCs, to communicate with their uh, assets up in space. If a space operation center was not able to talk to their satellites um, through means of the Air Force Satellite Control Network, um, then they would not be able to uh, command those satellites, whether it be state of health, uh, positioning of their satellites, battery reconditioning, pulling down telemetry, uh, via it be uh, you know, a spy satellite trying to take a picture, you want it to communicate, sending uh, signals across the, the globe, you name it, that would be uh, halted. So one of the smaller aspects of our mission is that we also run all the uh, launch supports for the Western Range here at, at 30th Space Wing. So being able to see the inaugural launch and landing of the SpaceX Falcon 9, that was, uh, that was pretty awesome. So up at the tracking station, there's a, a great view up there. My first six years in the Air Force, I was an aircraft uh, maintainer, um, avionics on fighter jets, F-16s. If you think about that mission coming in, you know, it's all about the fighter jets. We can't do our mission without space. And it makes things a lot easier ever, ever since we started getting smart bombs, smart guided bombs and missiles. Everything is controlled through space. And a lot of our intel is gathered through space. So space and cyber are, are vitally important. And I just see us, Hopefully one day getting to that point where not just us but the general public are thinking space so that way when we make decisions on funding we can put it in the right place. <laughs>